Peace and blessings to all my emperors and empresses. Uh, welcome. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell so you'll be notified of any uploads that I may do. You'll also be notified of when I have my live chats. Um, this is just a random video that uh, I was inspired to do um, because one of my... Uh, one of my regal empresses started her own channel and I, I watched it. It was very good, very informative about how she felt, you know, as far as women wearing wigs and women wearing makeup, you know, and I found it to be um, something I just wanted to, you know, kind of piggyback on or whatever. So people wouldn't necessarily get um, the wrong idea. Here on my channel, yes, I do wear makeup. I do. Um, but it has absolutely nothing to do with my self-esteem or me trying to be European or me being influenced by people on television. One thing that most people know about me is 100% I'm very secure in being a, a freeform Nazi dreadlock. Otherwise, I wouldn't rock, rock my hair the way that I do. And I don't need makeup. I definitely don't need it because one thing for sure, my skin is popping. It's flawless. You know, I'm, I'll am i be 49 years old this year. I don't have wrinkles. My skin is smooth. I don't have blemishes. I don't have any type of uh, bumps or anything like that. My, my face is actually a blank canvas, a perfect canvas for me to be creative. I didn't start wearing makeup until... I was in my 40s, um, and it happened because I had to do a review on some foundation, something I had never worn before. And in doing the review, it just kind of opened me up to, you know, wow, okay, I can express myself this way. I'm an artist. You know, I'm a writer. I used to do nails. I'm a hairstylist, licensed cosmetologist, and I'm a 20-year candle designer. 20 years this year. I've been designing candles. So I've always been a creative soul. So one of the things I can't draw though, I cannot draw. So one of the things that was intriguing to me was how, you know, watching people blend different colors, like when it comes down to eyeshadows and stuff, uh, being able to blend different colors and, and make it look right without looking crazy. And I, now don't get it twisted. Sometimes, you know, I might not get it right because it's, it's all new to me. You know, but it's something that I enjoy doing. I like to use my face as a canvas. Do I wear makeup every day? No, I do not. I wear my makeup mostly for my live chats. Um, because it's like when I come on here to do my videos, this is like a date for me. I explained in the chat yesterday, the live chat that we had, which was wonderful. Thank you for everybody who came to the chat. Um, but, you know, it's like... I do this because I just want to feel like I'm going on a date. I don't go anywhere. This is like my date. Sunday is my date night, and it's with you all, you know, so I make sure I'm fresh, bath, looking decent, um, what else? Oh, perfume, all of that, you know, um, or body oils, whatever, but... It, it, it has nothing to do with self-esteem. It has not. If, if they took away makeup from the United States and we couldn't wear makeup ever again, uh, I would be okay. Because when somebody wakes up with me in the morning and they see me with a blank face, trust and believe, I look perfectly fine. This is what I love to do, though. It's, it's not for everybody. And just because I'm a freeform dread doesn't mean that I have to be bare faced. I would say about 75, 80% of the time, about 80% of the times I am, I don't wear makeup. You know, do I play around in it? Yeah, I do because I want to learn how to do a lot of things. It's just a creative outlet for me. And honestly, it, it actually helps me when I'm, when I'm in my zone and I'm in my beauty room, it helps me to relieve some of my anxiety that I have. And I talked about it yesterday. You know, I deal with anxiety and depression or whatever. However, I don't feel the need to look like anybody on television. I don't feel the need to um, 
whatever. Uh, I don't do this for anybody else, but myself. It um, it's just a, a like I said, it's like an artist with a with a piece of paper, a canvas, and some paint. You know, and I just I started probably doing everything probably around 46, 47, about 40, yeah, I want to say closer to 46 or 7, um, and I enjoy it, I enjoy it greatly, and I'm not going to stop doing it, you know, I'm going to keep doing it for my videos, and this is no attack on anybody, but this is just to put the information out there as far as it has nothing to do, I mean, has not, it has nothing to do with, like, the people who wear wigs, the straight wigs and, you know, the lace front wigs and, you know, they have to have extra hair. They can't wear their hair natural. Clearly, I'm very comfortable with being a freeform Nazi dreadlock. And you all have seen me both with makeup and without makeup. And I look good either way. You know, I'm very confident in myself when it comes down to that. You know, it's just, again, just a freedom of expression. You know, have I perfected this thing? N not by far. Will I? I will always be learning how to do it. Um, actually, it's something that I, I kind of want to venture into, you know, possibly doing makeup for um, for people for like proms or this and that, weddings or whatever, you know, because I have accumulated enough to where I, um, I can. I can. And I feel like I do have the ability to... Um, to work to work on somebody else's face so you know when we talk about being natural and people with um people wearing makeup and stuff just because you're natural just because i'm a freeform dread just because you know i rock my nazis doesn't mean that i can't wear lipstick or eyeshadow and it has absolutely nothing to do with you know me trying to be european or follow the Caucasians and this, that, and the other. No, mine is totally an artistic thing, you know, and some of you may be able to understand. I mean, I'll be 49 years old this year, okay? So I get bored easily, and again, I do have, like, um, anxiety or whatever. So expressing myself through, like, either, you know, my nails, which right now is just pretty plain and plain neutral color which i used to wear a lot of different like bold colors i have mil uh, over eight thousand no hold up no over four thousand i'm sorry four thousand bottles of nail polish i was doing nails for a while i um enjoy doing designs and stuff now i've, I've kind of toned down and just you know i'll wear like one color instead of wearing like the power nail another color or whatever but I just wanted to, you know, just jump in. It's not, uh, I, I know that there's a lot of people on my channel that don't believe in wearing makeup or whatever. And I'm cool with that because I could go without makeup any day. You know, sometimes I say that, you know, I don't want to look washed out or whatever on camera. And I'm hoping that this light is not too bright. If it is, I apologize. But I wanted to get this video out here, you know, and I'm so happy that there's people that want to start channels and stuff after um you know rocking with me for a while and rocking with other people that do i mean there's room for everybody to do whatever and we all have our opinions or whatever but one thing i wanted to make clear was that i i am not doing it because i'm following somebody or because i feel insecure about anything whatsoever because i feel like i could be one of the boldest people out here and one of the most secure people out here you know um Otherwise, I would not have frizzy, freeform Nazi dreads down to my thighs. You know what I'm saying? If 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 I was insecure, I would have my hair probably twisted, you know, tightly and, and whatever. Everything would have to be neat, but that's not the case. Again, you know, I'm just coming on here to say that everybody's not, uh, everybody that rocks makeup is not necessarily emulating a Caucasian person or European, you know, um, it's an art form. It's an art form. It's an art form for me. You know, I had never used bronzer before, had never used a highlight before, didn't wear eyeshadow, maybe just a red lip and, um, 
black liner when I was younger in high school, you know, and then I, it was revisited, you know, um, in my earlier videos, you may have seen me with just like some lip gloss on or so. Uh, but that was until I did the foundation thing, which I don't need. I don't need foundation, and I would say 95% of the times I don't even use it. You know, uh, just started wearing blush or whatever. And again, I'm unapologetically an artist who enjoys using my face as a canvas uh, to each his own. I mean, when people don't feel that it's okay for them to wear it, fine. But just know that when I remove my makeup which some of you have definitely seen, when I remove my makeup, I don't have a blemish, a scar, a mark, an acne bump, or anything, and I'm not ashamed of my, my face when I wake up in the morning and I don't have this on. You know, it's like a date night again when I come on here and, and share with you all the information that I put out here as far as uh, Nazi dreadlocks. Now, anybody that knows me, that's been on my channel rocking with me for a while, know that I'm a diehard um, licensed cosmetologist who is strongly into the free form um, way of wearing uh, dreadlocks. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't care about the frizz. I don't care about all that. And I don't care about, I definitely don't care about looking like anybody else. That is 1,000% sure. And I think a lot of people rock with me because they know that I don't care about looking like anybody else. You know what I mean? So when you see me on videos, know that I definitely don't need to wear it. I do it because I choose to. It's a choice. And I will continue to do it because it is my choice. It does relax me. It does, you know, make me feel like I'm going on a date because I haven't dated in a long time. This is my date. This is my date right here with my webcam. You know, I have agoraphobia. I have social anxiety. So I don't go out a lot, you know. But when I go out, like to go pick up my daughter from school and my sit back with a full beat on, no, definitely not. If I have to go to her school for anything, I may have on lip gloss or whatever, you know. And I just felt like I needed to jump in and address, and it's not an attack on anybody who, you know, doesn't believe in makeup. It's just letting you know that I'm free, definitely free form, and free to be me and rock makeup because I choose to as the art form and not because, oh, I feel self-conscious. I would feel great if I woke up in the morning and didn't have on anything. And I, I feel comfortable knowing that if somebody was with me and I woke up in the morning, that they would know that, oh, she, she's flawless. Her skin is flawless. She's beautiful. And I feel that way. I feel very beautiful with or without makeup on. But again, it's another creative outlet for me. I want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me for a while. And I just wanted to put that out there. Um, for anybody who does, you know, who don't believe in, uh, in wearing it from time to time, cool, no problem. It's it's everybody's um, whatever your desire is, you know. So I don't knock anybody who who does or doesn't, you know, agree with what I'm saying. But I'm just gonna let you know that when you come to this channel, maybe I'll have on makeup, maybe I won't. But nine times out of ten, I will because again. This is like, seriously, like, a, um, sorry, like my, my, my date time, uh, with my people, with people that I enjoy, that I trust, that I love, that I feel, you know, we're in a negative free zone and we can be free to be us and, you know, not criticize each other. So that's all, you all. This was just like a little surprise mini video that I jumped in. I said I didn't have any content, and I thank God that somebody from my channel did have some content for me to actually say, okay, let me um, let me do a video about this so people won't, you know, get the wrong idea or whatever. Um, that's it. I'll probably be doing another video soon. I don't know what about because what haven't I talked about? 
you know, as <laughs> being a free form or being a Nazi or being natural. I've, I have so many videos out, over 125, six, seven videos out. And it's just like only so much more that I could talk about. And this was a good one. This was, this was a cool way of being able to put out another video and express, express myself i'm sorry my dog is jumping on me express myself so that's it so if you see me with eyeshadow on bronzer a full beat a half a beat honey whatever or just natural know that i feel good about my face every day all day my hair no doubt all day long very confident about that now you know i have my other issues that i have to deal with or whatever but i'm not having cosmetic surgery i'm not doing any of that type of stuff to make myself to appease myself you know what i mean so thank you all for listening uh comment down below you know if you understand what i'm saying you know as far as the artistic value in what i do um comment down below if you do the same thing you know on occasions you know just because people see me on camera with makeup on this this is only but what a couple times out of a week and it's not all day usually i go and take my makeup off if i have to go pick up my daughter i take my makeup off before i go and pick her up you know i enjoy like learning how i just learned how to put lashes on it took me a year you know, <laughs> but comment down below, thumbs up the video. If you understand what I'm saying, when I'm talking about men, please, you too, chime in. Uh, I did a video a long time ago about, uh, how do men feel about women who wear makeup, you know, chime in down below and let me know, um, how you feel about it, how you feel about, you know, me, what I just said, as far as the reason why I do it, leave a comment, thumbs up the video. If you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be doing a live video on Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Savings Time. And it's not going to be a Nazi Dread-like video um, Q&A. It's going to be pretty much just like a living room type setting thing. You know, we, we're going to sit back and we're going to chip chat about anything that's on our minds, you know, within reason. I mean, we're not going to be sitting back talking about sex, politics, drugs, all that type of stuff, you know, but anything i mean it could be about children it could be about what's going on in our lives it could be about anxiety it could be about wh whatever it is that you want to talk about and um sit back and chill with me on a saturday night and um just talk about everything i know we talk about everything on sundays but i'm gonna try it again you know for saturdays for those who can't make it on sundays and do it at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Savings Time. So look forward to that. And then also look forward to the live chat on Sundays at 4 p.m. Central Savings Time. Um, I may do another, I'm sure I'm going to do another video this week. But, you know, I just wanted to leave you all with that. Being artistic is um, and being creative is a beautiful thing. And I love my freedom of expression. So blessings to you. My emperors, my empresses, we're all regal. Um, and hey, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. Peace.